going to the Exumas, but there's a, a cut you have to go through, kind of a, a narrow entrance, and Keith is worried about the tide is going to be coming out, and the waves are going to be splashing against us, and we might not make it, we might sink. Uh, if we can't make it, we'll just kind of stop at the entrance and wait it out or something. I'm not sure. He said if we don't make it into the cut, into the Exumas, then we just need to turn and tread water all night? Not tread water, just go slow to the next cut till morning. And it'll be like this. And it'll still be like this, but... How uh, how wide is that cut we got to go through? It's wide. It's, it's 500 feet. It's a football field. What is it that scares you so much about going through that cut? Uh, 10, 11 knots of current running us aground. And we have no in, in the yeah, in the cut and we have no steering and it just drives us towards the shore. Golly. It... Uh oh. My switch fell. It should be okay. I think it's okay. I don't hear any damaged pieces. Well, what I was saying is that this is no fun. We have uh, decided we can't go through that pass, so we're just gonna wait and do a night shift. We're not even moving. We're, go we're going one knot. I hate my life. Luke hates his life. I don't hate my life, but this is going to be miserable for the time being. Never been so close to throwing up. You about to blow? No, but I can feel like if I, was, if I ate a lot, I would. Oh, Luke's about to throw up. No way. Gosh <laughs> dang it, I was expecting something great. The, the water got so cold now, yeah. Ooh. All right, go ahead. So to, tonight we're going slow to get to the cut in Exumas. And then once we get across that cut at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, we go straight to Chub Key, which is 88 miles, which would put us in Chub Key late, late tomorrow night. And we stay there tonight. And then Saturday morning we get up early and we go all the way to Cat Key, get up Sunday morning and we go across to uh, Miami. So that puts us in Miami very soon. Very, very soon. So we're skipping a lot of the Bahamas. We're expected to get there in about 15, 16 hours. So it'll be tomorrow morning, tomorrow sometime. I'm gonna enjoy this dinner and I will catch you guys when we get there. All right, it's the next morning, the following morning. We went through the pass, it was really early, so it was really hard to see. I decided I wasn't gonna film it because I was tired. It was just not good, but it was easy. It was simple, you know, it was, we timed it perfectly, non-event. And now, we're going across a bank. And what that means, means it's six meters deep. Like 24, 18 to 20 feet. That's not deep at all. We've decided we're going all the way to Miami. We're not gonna stop in Nassau? No, we either have to go to Miami right now, basically non-stop before the weather comes in uh, in 48 hours or we're stuck here for a week in Nassau for a week, which is not a terrible thing, I like that, but we have plans uh, next weekend, big plans in February. So we need to be in Miami sooner rather than later. I suppose there's worse things to be in a rush about. Yeah. Look at you guys, already on top of it. You're so hopeful. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. It was around the winch. Okay, undo the foot of the sail. These sheets go on the clue. Kate, you take that whole thing off. You take that off. Yeah. What are, you, what are we doing? Do we ever take this off? Yes. No. I've seen you guys take that off before. No, we do this one. Push this. We do this on the head of the sail, sure. Push that's all the hand as well. Tag of the sail. That's just what they'll do. Kate is gonna do the honors. Yeah, I'd like I never do it before. Yeah. Stand on the other side. Yeah, I was gonna say. That's not an exam that's not an example of my bad behavior. You ready, Ben? Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Pull it, pull it, pull it. Good going, Kate. You got it. Knocked out the ballpark. I didn't Not know you were. Quite. I didn't know you were so. Uh... Hey, I'm just. I'm first mate. It's gonna be hard being in Tonga with you. There it is. We're dropping off the bank, and now it's gonna get real deep really quick. Here's the map. If you can read topography, this is where it's shallow, and then it gets real deep real quick. And that's it. Wow, it just keeps going down. You can see right here, it's just a straight decline. You got something you want to say? Topography. Oh. Move out the way. Well, it's kind of sprinkling a little bit. Finn and them were out here just a minute ago watching the sunset. I was doing my uh, a stupid driver's ed course because my license has expired. I got to retake it. It's a long, long story. But this is the last full day of sailing. This is it. That's crazy to think about. I'm not gonna be seeing this sail flying for a long time. I'll see it tomorrow for a little bit. We still, we're gonna get to Miami at about one o'clock in the afternoon, a little later in the afternoon. Oh, it's so exciting. It's the 26th today. We get to Miami on the 27th. We're gonna have a long time there. I'm excited though. I am excited. Golly. Okay, maybe I was wrong because we're going like nine or 10 knots now. So this is the official last day of sailing. This is a good way to end it, I gotta say. We're about three hours away from Miami. We're gonna get there a little too quick. Now this, this is the legitimate end. So what happened here was the wind that had been changing direction in building, which I had been watching. But for some reason, I didn't think, okay, well, we need to take the sail down or else, you know, this is going to happen, which was a complete mistake. All of this was preventable if I had just taken the sail down. At this point, dad is trying to turn down wind and I'm waiting on him, but it's too late. Bro, you ain't gonna be able to pull that in. <laughs> Mother, would you get on the line, please? Yeah. Thank you. Grab those lines, grab those lines. I was on shift, Finn was there with me, but we were sailing, right? We were sailing, we were going fast, it was good. I thought, well, maybe we could keep this up, which was a mistake because I saw the angle of the wind. I saw it, it had been shifting and we should have taken it down before any of this even happened. So it started luffing and I said, Finn let the line loose, he let the line loose. I rushed over to the helm to turn on the engines and steer us down wind, but dad had came up as soon as I rushed over there. So I figured, okay, well dad is probably about to go do that because I'm here. He heard the luffing of the sail, but he didn't because he needed to get an idea of what was going on. He first walked outside to look at the sail and what was going on, and then he walked back. Lesson learned. Two hours from Florida. Two hours Two away. Two hours. Let it, let it down. And if a sail breaking is enough, we're having alternator problems again. It smells like burnt wire, burnt something. We're almost there. We've got no more than two and a half hours to go. It's so many problems. After the alternator breaking and the sail ripping, we were all very disheartened through the rest of the day. We were ready to finish this. Quit with all the stuff breaking and get to Florida. We'd experienced six months worth of sailing in one day. And that's crazy. So get us to Miami. Let's just get this over with, my goodness. Oh, Florida. Florida. Pretty lame place. I mean, there's, there's worse places to be. Are those uh, fenders tied off correct? 
Yeah, should be. So we just gotta do our last minute checks on these fenders because because the dock are they're pilings, which is silly. They're like the worst things to uh, tie off on with a boat. Stirring up the mud. That. that ain't a good feeling. Exactly. There we go. Now we're talking. You see? You see that? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, Luke, would you uh, make sure the fenders are on? That's your job. That's your duty. All right, so we're set right here. We're just gonna let it move forward a little bit because we want the ladder to be on the concrete right there to where we can hop off easily. What an eventful day, wouldn't you say? Oh my gosh. An eventful day in the wrong ways. Yeah, I just said we made it here in one piece, but I, is that really true? We made it here in one piece? Our cell made it here in two. <laughs> the dogs are on the American soil. Backflip. That was actually pretty clean. All right, we're in position. Now it's just the finite things to get us set real good because we're gonna be here a couple months, probably a lot more. How long are we gonna be here for? Uh, two or three months. We can it's take a pretty long time. Fender. There you go, just tie it back to the day. Oh. Oh, wow. Dude, don't do it. You guys can see I'm wearing a jacket and my jeans because it's uh, it's a little chilly here. Last night was so cold, I was under the blankets because it's winter time and I forgot about that. I've been in summer too long. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing. It's free, most of you aren't subscribed and it helps me out. I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.